As you can tell, I'm in the swamp gas. <laughs> <laughs> make any sparks we're back on the river today and we're at a spot that we came to not too long ago that has some civil war stuff in it and has a, a more modern dump as well but the problem we had when we were here last time at least i i had was that i the battery in my pin pointer went dead so i could not use it and for when you're water hunting like this uh, if you don't have a pinpointer, it's, it's really, really hard to retrieve targets, especially when they're kind of deep. When we were here last time, just uh, not too long ago, we actually found a couple cool things. One was a part of a musket. It was like the center part of like a Civil War musket or rifle. And it was really bad shape, but it was there. And we found, I think, another piece of a gun, some other type, type of gun, and a spoon and a few other things, but I couldn't. I couldn't really get anything that was non-ferrous, that wouldn't stick to the magnet, that was more than about waist deep. So I decided just to save everything that was in the hole. That, I actually have my little shorty on today. I'm gonna pull it up when we go under. It's a little bit green. Ah, Lord. <laughs> Shaking the top of my head. All right, so I'm all suited up and we should be warm enough. Hopefully, <laughs> pinpoint is gonna work today. Oh yeah. I guarantee you we're gonna find some stuff today because there were some beautiful signals in there that I did not get the last time we were here. Okay, so we've got our first nice squeaker right here. And um, I'm not gonna put you underwater because it's not very clear. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking my foot and I'm just like going back and forth and digging with my toe. Now I go through a lot of boots <laughs> this way, but it beats having to go up and down holding your breath and uh, trying to dig with your hands because this is I've already dug down about six or eight inches in the gravel man there's a lot of targets in there I'm hearing tons of iron I know you can't really hear but with these waterproof headphones I can't put it up like that so you can hear it and I can't undo them well, I guess I could but then maybe you can hear this listen shh there's something right there. But there's a lot of iron in here too. You know those grunts, that's iron. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this thing and I'll show you what it is, no matter what it is. And we'll move up there because there's some beautiful squeakers right on the bedrock and they'll be really easy to get. Huh, put you away. See, <laughs> see you in a minute, the water's cold. So the really good signal that I had is kind of broken up. There's a bunch of smaller things in there now. I just dug up this uh, plastic bottle and it's got the aluminum ring around it. So I'm probably hearing stuff like that. So I'm gonna let this, this signal go. And we're gonna go up to where the bedrock is where I know this, oh my God. It's kind of looking upstream. Up, you see where the grassy here, first grassy here it is. And this huge column of white stuff came down, splash and went up in the water like that. It came, huge column came out of the tree from way up there. <laughs> I thought it was like a fire hose, but Unfortunately, what it is, is probably a giant bird, probably a great blue heron, just took a dump in the river. And all that is coming right to, to us right now. So I would highly recommend that when you're underwater, try not to get too much water in your mouth because we're gonna have blue heron poop rolling by us in just a minute. Man, I wish I'd gotten that on camera, it was disgusting, oh my God. I have my first non ferrous target of the day, I meaning non-iron. Well, I guess the aluminum thing was, was not iron either, but. This is a pull tab and I'm on the uh, bedrock now, so it should be a lot easier to get the targets. Another target here. This is on the bedrock though, so it shouldn't take uh, too much trouble to get. It's definitely non-ferrous. Well, let's go get it. What do you say? I'm going to let you just float around out there. Watch me. <laughs> Hold your breath. I forgot to bring some weights with me. Uh, with this little wetsuit on, it's, I can't stay under. It's bringing me right back to the surface. So. I'm gonna have to find some rocks or something to put in my bag or maybe a cannonball or two. Well, at least we got some lead. <laughs> it's a modern, you know, modern sinker. I don't know how modern, but could be as old as I am, but at least that's a good target. Well, good sounding target. All right, so I have a really, really good, strong signal here. It's reading um, low 80, so it's probably not gonna be a, a sinker unless it's a giant one. Hopefully I can grab it. There's a rock down there I'm gonna to try to grab a hold of to hold myself under. Um, 
I still haven't found any weights yet. <laughs> Alright, put your back over there. So you're out of the way. Should be right in front of my foot. Adios. Well, I think this is going to be a disappointment. <laughs> oh no. A flattened beer can. Ah. Well, it'll get better. I hope. <laughs> Out here in some of this deeper water, there's a tree here. and The uh, bottom has kind of been scoured. I'm kind of hoping for an artillery show. Ugh. A little bit over my head. I can't really swim because there's too much current. It'll just drag me, you know, swim and swing the loop. Something big and iron here, but it's not on Taylor's show. Let me grab my pick. That way we don't have to go all the way under. It's not an artillery shell signal, but it's a big iron signal. Could be a bayonet or a gun. Who knows? Ready? I'm just kind of feeling it with a magnet. A magnet should stick to it. I'm not feeling anything. That could be buried. Oh, there's some stuff there. Um, yeah, so that's a piece of metal iron sheeting of some sort. That might be what I was hearing. Could be that it's breaking up some. Yeah, that's all I was hearing. All right, I'm gonna turn you back off. I'll let you know if I get something good. <laughs> well, I finally got something. <laughs> I guess, I don't know if this officially puts us on the board, but here, let me move you. This is a uh, a um, wick holder for a lantern. That's pretty cool. Uh, could be Civil War era, but it could be more more new. Some of the stuff I found in here is like turn of the century, you know, like 1900s. Yeah, I just looked down and saw a bunch of white stuff down there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's that poo that we saw earlier. That bird was up in that tree right there. At least we're up river, <laughs> up river from it now. Yeah, we found, I think we found a spoon up in that area um, last time we were out. So we'll work our way out that direction again. Now that we have the pinpoint, it should be a lot easier. Got a few signals right here here some iron but at least one squeaky thing right here too right. <laughs> all tangled up whatever it is we have it in our hands you ready oh no <laughs> it's a fishing uh i think it's a uh top to a fishing reel uh, that's not so good <laughs> another nice squeaker here put my foot like right next to it that way it smells like uh, diesel or something in here a few little whoops <laughs> move it out of the way I think there's some like uh, petroleum products underneath here in the uh, river bar because it really stinks where I'm digging <sighs> I got it <laughs> it's a rifle casing to be about a 30 yard six maybe oh it stinks right here it's like uh oh i don't know it's like it's an oil filter underneath underneath the mud there or something it's really gross all right let's move up just a little bit well we got our first bullet definitely a civil war bullet i think it's probably fired maybe carved <laughs> oh that's all. at least we're not skunked i was getting worried we're getting up into the area where uh, we found that uh, big spoon last time, so I'm hoping we'll have a little <laughs> bit more luck. <laughs> a decent little squeaker here. It's in the rocks. It's not too big. I... <laughs> Come back here, you. Oh man, those rocks are sharp. My only bony knees. It's like a hole. These uh these are limestone rocks and some uh, some of them have like they'll have like little holes that go down. 
and uh, things get caught in them. That's what I got here. Here we go. Oh no, it's not a can. Oh, it's another aluminum, uh, top to aluminum can. Kind of an older stuff. Well, it's not really old, but man, that's not a good too. We got something in here. <laughs> Hopefully it's uh, a bullet or something. Oh no. That's probably it right there. Oh, that could be a good one. That could be a like a homemade sinker. It's this stinks today. Oh my god, it stinks. All right, so that's a nice little find. This is a uh, what I call a homemade sinker. Piece of lead that they fashioned to a sinker. This could be Civil War era. It could be 1700s. It could be after the Civil War. I have found a lot of these out here in the past, and uh, quite a few made out of bullets too. So hopefully we'll find one made out of a bullet. Throw that in the boat. Oy. Let's check the hole. There's a lot of um. Probably my pinpointer. Oh, turn you off. <laughs> Just got another rifle casing. Not an old one, but it's a pretty one. Oh, we got a good one. You ready? It's a gun. <laughs> yeah, it's another gun, man. This is uh, not too far from where I found that piece of that musket. And uh, that other little gun. And here's another one. This is probably... Well, I mean, it's a revolver, of course. The back part of it's missing. It could be Civil War era. It could be later. It's really hard to say. <laughs> That's pretty cool right there, man. Most awesome. Yeah, you still got the hammer. That's the hammer right there. When we clean it up, we might be able to figure out what it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a gun. So at least we got one pretty cool find, I think, so far. Beautiful squeaker right here. <laughs> ah man, I've been digging a lot of cans and junk. Yeah, this one sounds pretty good though. Another spoon. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, I guess maybe not. This is about where we found uh, a spoon the other day. Last time we were here. Oh, God, I'm getting freezing. Um yeah so this must be like an old farm dump right in here <laughs> it's crazy isn't it <laughs> all the wounds that's what the cats got me i guess for the briars pretty much right where the uh spoon was got another decent signal nice little squeaker you can hear the um construction vehicles off in the distance ah looky there this my friend is a harmonica reed and i think we found one when we were here before so this is um this is you know part of a musical instrument and one of the reeds a harmonica would have a bunch of these and uh yeah that's a nice little find most excellent well, up here in the mud not too squeaky but it's um definitely worth digging could be a shotgun shell maybe oh yeah look at that i don't think it's in there Hold on a second. I'm almost down to it. It's uh, really heavy, this heavy, nice clay here. A lot of times when you find stuff in, in this, it's, it's very well preserved. And I, I'm just kind of dragging my fingers through it. And uh, when I feel something solid, I'll know that's the target. Yeah, it's still down in there. This is good. I love it when I find stuff in here. Not far from here, years ago, I had a signal just like this. Down real deep in this clay, and it was a uh, belt buckle. Ah, there it is. It was a uh, cartridge box plate, a U.S. cartridge from the Civil War, and it had all the leather still with it. It was a whole cartridge box. That was really cool. So I got whatever this is. I can feel it with my fingers. That nice silky clay, and there's something down underneath it. So it's probably been in here a while. Yeah, I can't tell what it is yet. It's pretty good size. Might be a can or something, an old can. It could be an old canteen. <gasps> okay, you ready? <laughs> Here it is. Um, yeah, so this is 
I believe, an old can of some sort. I don't know if it's going to be like a ration tin from the Civil War era. And like I said, there was a camp right above us. I'll give you more new. Um, got that tinned look to it, though. So this could be an older one. It's really hard to say. I'm not seeing any solder on it, though. So it might be slightly more modern. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Where you go. Dug up some more of that can. And um, I think actually what it might be is like a maybe a big coffee cup or something. Because this rim right here is nice and it's a folded over rim. So I think this is actually like a big coffee mug. So that could absolutely be Civil War. I'm not saying it is, but I'm pretty sure that's what we have here. I don't know if there's any more down that hole. Yeah, I hear some more beeping, so I'll dig it up. If it's anything different than this, or like maybe the handle, I'll show it to you. But pretty much in the same hole as that can, I just got a little bell. It's not like a sleigh bell, but it's a uh, it's a little bell of some sort. And it looks like somebody shot it. it. Looks like a bullet hole went through there and came out there. So uh, that could be kind of an old one. They used to put these kind of bells on um, harnesses and stuff for animals, like mules and stuff. So yeah, that's a beauty actually. No idea how old it is though. <laughs> it's all right, man. <laughs> We're on it now. Well, here's a weird little washer thingy. It's iron. I, it looks almost like it has like little waves in it though. It's a wavy washer of some sort. I'm pretty sure it's iron. Um, man, my fingers are actually getting numb. They're shit, getting so cold. <laughs> Might not be out here too much longer today. Sound like a pretty good little squeaker right here, but it's got a lot of uh, iron sounding on the edges of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not buried. Oh, it's, I think it's a knife. Oh, knife. Maybe. Yeah, looky there. So that is an old pocket knife, I do believe, that's folded out. Oh, I guess it's a pocket knife. Can't tell if that's wood or bone handle, but I'm pretty sure that's a pocket knife or because because of the shape of the blade like that but not 100 percent on that it's definitely a knife though an old fence post here these things sound like muskets when you hear them well <laughs> as you can tell i'm in the swamp gas <laughs> didn't make any sparks um, oh gosh isn't that weird <laughs> I love it. Swamp gas. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get out of here because it's probably full of leeches. My legs are probably covered with them right now. I'm getting a boat and we'll go up stream a little bit further. Uh, try to get away from this stuff and uh, see if we find some more artifacts. We're walking along looking for bottles and stuff. And I see something weird right there. Do you think that's a cannonball? <laughs> Kind of doubt it, but we're gonna have to pick it up. Ready? No. A big old ball of some sort, but not a cannonball. Oops. Yeah, there must have been a, some type of dump nearby. Oh, there's a milk bottle. Okay. Um, there's a lot of broken bottles and plates and stuff here. <laughs> Seeing if it's embossed with it, you know, the farm it's from or the dairy. There's a lot of bottles in here. I've been seeing them for quite a while. I don't think it's an old enough dump to be too worried about, but if you stop finding medicine bar or milk bottles that are embossed, I'll come back. That's a pork top at least. I was telling you about all the trash in here. This is the kind of stuff I'm you know, talking about. I mean, the whole river is like this. You can see the other side's like it all down through here and all down through there. It's just a nasty place, man. I don't even want to be in the water, to be honest with you. I think if I had seen this before I got in the water, before I started detecting today, I would have probably skied out. 
<laughs> it's pretty gross well i guess i'm going to quit for the day i'm headed back downstream this uh creek is just too filthy i went by a uh an outflow for a sewage treatment plant it was like half the volume of the creek and it stunk that's why it stinks so bad here above it it wasn't quite so bad and it's just too much trash i don't think i'll i don't think i'll ever come back here again i mean we did okay but not good enough for me <sighs> Not with the diseases I'm probably going to have tonight. Anyway, let's see if we can scoot back under this tree and just float to the trash. I mean, this whole creek's like that. It's horrible. <laughs> this is the most fun I've had uh, well, in about three hours. <laughs> Guess I should, I should, I could have gone. We almost fell over. We'll see you on the next one. If I don't get berry berry or some disease from this place. <laughs> She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity.